This tankless gas residential water heater by Thermomate is easy to install. You can definitely do it yourself. Heck, they even say thank you in the packaging. It was well packaged. Everything is provided for your basic installation. Now you could hire a licensed plumber if you want, but I'm telling you, you can install these products yourself. You'll have years of good service. You'll be glad you did. This can heat an entire house depending on the size of your house. Let's talk about some key points of interest on the water heater itself. We're going to have the cold water inlet here. We're going to have the hot water outlet here. We're going to have your gas supply. This is a natural gas unit. We're going to have your condensating drip line here, and that is provided with the heater. I was all prepared to teach you how to do wiring and connect to a complicated water heater. Forget that. Thermomate has given you a standard plug-in feature. So easy. And then lastly, up at the top, we're going to have our flue, and that's required to go to the exterior. In the back of the unit, you'll see the mounting points here so you can securely fasten it to a wall. The installation instructions are included as well as a QR code for more information. Okay, let's start by mounting your new water heater to a wall. Now, if you don't have a helper, you can start by just putting the provided screw in first. And then you can literally just hang it off of that and finish the rest of your screws. They've thought of everything. I don't need a second hand. I don't need a helper. Now, of course, remember when installing a new water heater, you're going to want to make sure your water lines were off and your gas supply was off first. Always work safe and smart. Okay, when it comes to making the water connections, of course, you have the cold water in and the hot water out. I love using flexible connectors for water heaters. That gives you the option for future disconnecting and servicing. It just gives you a lot more options rather than hard plumbing. I found these dielectric water heater connectors. Now, if you're using a connector with no washers, this one already has a washer provided, then you don't need pipe thread or dope. <coughs> so again, washer provided, there's also a washer in the connector. You can screw it right in and you don't need any additional pipe thread or dope. This will be a nice watertight connection. And then of course, snug it up with a wrench or spanner. Okay, onto the hot water side. The little bit of water from the factory is normal. That was for testing in the factory. This is the side that you may be required to use a pressure temperature uh, valve. Of course, the cleaner water going into your heater will help your heater to last longer, less likely to have any issues. So if you do have a water filter, go ahead and use that. Let's go to the gas connection. This is a natural gas water heater. So you wanna make sure that you've purchased a natural gas connector. This is a stainless steel gas connector rated for interior or exterior use. This water heater is for interior use only. Okay, now we have the cold water, the hot water, the natural gas line connected. What about the flue up top for proper venting? Let's talk about the two most common ways to vent. This is a water heater gas connector, flexible. It's single wall thickness. Single wall thickness is perfect if you're going into an existing chimney, masonry flue, something like that. Now, if you're going up through a wooden roof or sidewall, then you need what's called a B vent. A B vent gets its name because it has two layers. Look inside. You have an inner and an outer. A B vent is rated to be safer when you're going through combustion like a wood house. In this case, we'll be going to a brick chimney that's pre-existing, so we'll just put on our single wall flue and we'll screw that together. This is an efficient condensating natural gas water heater, so do remember to put in this drain tube. At this point, we have all the crucial connections made. I wanna turn the water supply back on, get the water through the unit, run a faucet, get the air out of the system, that will flush it with water and you can check all your connections for leaks. Okay, standard wall outlet. Your Thermomate gas water heater has a power button here, has a simple up and down indicator to change the temperature of the water. This efficient gas water heater can serve more than one appliance at a time. It generates several gallons per minute of hot water. It is a permanent installation and indoor use only. Now to change between Celsius and Fahrenheit, you will simply hold down the up and down arrow keys for several seconds and it'll change over. Now for most families, you're gonna to wanna to set it to about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. 
That's a good operating temperature that's not too cold and not too hot. If you go above that, there is always a risk of scalding. Um, if you have children in the house, I would say never go above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I found this Thermomate gas water heater of good quality, easy to install. They've thought of everything. There are a few components you might want to add, such as a pressure release valve and the valves for the inlet and outlet water supply. You can buy that and save money by buying a tankless installation kit. I found they thought of everything. It was built for the do-it-yourselfer. You can hire a licensed plumber if you want, but I'm telling you, you can do this yourself.